Our midweek marvels are back on the show today. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Terror topics are about to be discussed. <laughs> Stella Ambler is a conservative MP from Mississauga. Ginny Sims is an NDP MP from Newton, B.C. <laughs> Yvonne Jones is a liberal MP representing all of Labrador. I know you Newton <laughs> and North Delta, right? It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. I want to talk about this conservative MP, Lawrence. Toet? Toet? Is that how you pronounce it? Toet. Uh, he's getting a lot of attention on social media. He uh, put out this, he represents a riding in Manitoba, and he sent this flyer out, and here's your choices at the end of this, talking about the bill. It says, I agree with my MP. We must take additional action to protect Canada from terrorism. I disagree with uh, that, my MP. Terrorists are victims, too. Now, there may be just a little bit of gray area between those two, but maybe not. Uh, it re it's eerily reminiscent of this infamous clip. I want to bring that up. Here's what happened a few years ago in the House of Commons. He can either stand with us or with the child pornographers. With us or with the child pornographers. Uh, Yvonne, I'm going to start with you this week. What do you make of these choices? Is this trying to divide Canada? absolutely dividing Canada, but even more so than division. It's a, it's a politics of fear, a culture of fear that's being initiated by the Harper government. Um, you know, it's not, and it's coming from the leadership. We're seeing it played out with different members of Parliament uh, by things they're tweeting, pictures they're tweeting, by comments they're making towards, you know, uh, different religions, comments they're making towards people, uh, uh, people's culture. All of those things are being played out right now by conservative MPs on a daily basis. It is not by accident. It is, it is a culture that is being fostered by the leadership. It is one of fear and division in Canada. And it's not reflective of what our values are of, uh, as Canadians at all, in my opinion. Jenny? Well, as a, a person who chose Canada to be my home, I grew up in England and came out here. If anybody had told me that this is the kind of rhetoric we would hear in the House of Commons from parliamentarians and the kind of stuff that's going out, I would have said not in my Canada. I've been very, very disappointed and hurt, as are people in community that I represent. It is politics of fear, but it's far more than that. It's making us look at our neighbours with suspicion. So when I talk to Muslim girls or Sikh girls at a high school, they're feeling targeted. And when I looked at that flyer that went out, it's one of those, you're with us or you're against us. It's about us and them. And that's not how Canadian society operates. Well, to be fair, he's saying you're with us or you're with the terrorists and, you know, that's... You know what, uh, I think uh, when you look and look at the whole flyer, uh, it's not as simple as that, as you know, because you know who gets targeted all the time. Just look at the visual images being sent out. You've mm -hmm. got ministers who can't tell the difference between a niqab and a hikab. Uh, and, you ca and you've got ministers tweeting out pictures that are uh, depictions, that are historical movies that are being, uh, historical moments in the religion that are being enacted and trying to pretend that that's the way ISIS is treating people mm -hmm. and then that's Jason Kenney's yesterday from right the now. Prime Minister I suppose to me that was a low mm -hmm. moment in Parliament when he responded with uh, that very overarching comment about women in the Muslim communities and I think I found that so so disappointing that somebody who holds such a high position who should be bringing people together should make such a, right. an outrageous comment. Uh, I think you might have some rebut on that. <laughs> I, uh, first of all, uh, you know, there, um, with regard to uh, uh, Jason Kenney and those, uh, and those photos, uh, uh, they, they depict barbaric cultural practices that are happening all over the world today um, to women that are under the control of uh, ISIL who believe that we should go back to a 7th century a 7th, 7th century caliphate where women mean nothing. This is a brutal organization of terrorists that are kidnapping and raping women uh, en masse as young as 8 years old and uh, uh, making them into sex slaves. Uh, these 
they ha they now have a formal connection to Boko Haram. Uh, you know, these are absolutely barbaric cultural practices that occur all over the world. And so um, this is not a government that closes their eyes to this horrible situation. But in your view, is the kneecap anti-women? Is it rooted in being anti-women culture, in uh, your view? No, you know, and this is really not, a, this is not about uh, whether uh, Canada allows religious uh, practice uh, to happen. To, you can, anyone can practice any religion they like. What this is about is about uh, taking a citizenship oath in a citizenship court which is public and at that moment where you're joining the Canadian family it's about uncovering your face to take that oath in public. There's nothing, um, I don't think there's anything untoward about that. And in fact, I think it's Justin Trudeau that needs to answer the question, <laughs> why doesn't he think that you should, that a woman should uh, take this oath publicly well, and what, take uh, on those Canadian values? I'd like your thoughts on that, Yvonne. Like, why shouldn't uh, their face be uncovered at the moment you're saying, I'm going to embrace Canada? Well, why, why should the majority always dictate what the mature, minority does in this country? That has not been the practice of Canadians, and nor should it be in this case. And why is the courts ruling in the way they are? And why is the government, who's supposed to be upholding the institutions of our laws, not even conforming to certain rulings that are being made? In, in my opinion, it, what you need to really get to is the real heart of what Stephen Harper and his government is trying to portray upon Canadians. It's not unlike what we saw just a year ago in Quebec, when we saw the anti-racist movement being played out against minorities. Well, that's what we're seeing on a broader scale in Canada today. What's very really sad about it is it's being led by the Prime Minister, and that's wrong. And, and it is having a devastating effect on many Canadians. It's putting fear in the homes of Canadians where it doesn't need to be right now. Jenny, I'd like your thoughts on something here. Like the NECAB, let's say we don't allow that for the oath of citizenship. But Tony Clement says it's fine and dandy to, to do it in, in the public service. In fact, let's have a quick listen to what uh, the Treasury Board President had to say earlier today. Mm -hmm. The uh, Declaration of Citizenship is a public expression uh, of wanting to be a Canadian citizen. And that public expression has to be consistent with Canadian values, including gender equity. And I think that's the point the Prime Minister has made. I think that is a fair and reasonable point. And I think that is a point that is shared by uh, many and most Canadians. <laughs> But he did say it's okay to report to work anywhere in the public service wearing a kneecap if you want. Do you see an inconsistency there? Absolutely, and it's the government that is going into damage control. Only a few weeks ago, they had the Minister of Immigration to say whether it was niqab or hijab. And remember, hijab is very much like a, a headscarf. Heading, headscarf that a nun would wear, uh, said that those were not acceptable in our country or whatever. But, you know, I want to go back to a comment that uh, my dear friend made here about uh, Minister Kenny. You know, what we saw in that picture that he used is a depiction of what was happening to Mohammed's family. It's like us showing um, uh, a dramatic depiction of the crucifixion and then alluding to all of that. That's what Christians do right now, or that's what Jews do right now, and that's what all who are none of those yeah. religions do. So I think we have to be very, very careful. And when you have responsible positions like that, and we have a minister who's been a minister of multiculturalism for as long as I can remember, and for him to do that was really very, very upsetting. Last word to you, Stella. You know, I, I think um, we all should know and understand that moderate Muslims across Canada, uh, 300,000 of whom uh, have been accepted, welcomed into Canada since 2006. So huge numbers. And of, of um, uh, you know, we need to make the distinction between the Muslims that are, that, that are Canadians and loyal to Canada and uh, who are, who've uh, adopted Canadian values of openness and equality between men and women, and a few moderate uh, extremists uh, who moderate are... Moderate extremists? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Non-moderate. I don't think any of them are moderate. <laughs> You're right.
right. Yeah. The extremists who are um, who are, uh, are are creating the the kinds of problems that right. we're None talking about. The whole um, yeah. yeah, no, of course not. And okay. so you know we need to make that distinction. And I think the uh, like the Muslim Canadian Congress has has said that these um, uh, this is not helpful to women, um, and this is does does not advance the cause okay. of, of Muslim values. We are out of time. Thank you all for coming in. Thank, Thank you. Talk about some extreme moderates next week. All right.